So take a deep breath with me. And just release whatever might be going on in your mind right now. We can pick it up later if we need to. Let's just affirm and know that this is a golden opportunity for us to release and to let go of everything that is not true. God's will for our life is to know ourselves as we truly are. Every spiritual teacher has given some version of this affirmation. The problem is not what's happening in our life. The problem is is we have come to believe that we are separate from life, from other people, from the happiness and the peace that we seek. And the truth is that the unhappiness we experience is the, is the tension created from knowing who we truly are deep down and experiencing life separate from that. But the truth is the truth that will always be present. It has never left you. And it's waiting sort of patiently for us to awaken to its reality as us. It wants to expand as you. It wants to to be the unbridled, untethered expression of love and life and peace and wholeness. This is its desire, its only desire. It cares nothing about circumstances. It has no need for life to be a certain way. It is like the space in this room. So notice right now that when you're, when you're not engaged in activity or thought and you just sit with the notion of what am I? What am I? Is there just pure conscious awareness without an object to be aware of what's left. When all objects, when all externals run their course, live their life expectancy, move through our consciousness. When they, when they go, when they're no longer uppermost in our mind, what remains? Jesus said, I am with you always. Was he talking about his body? No. He said, before Abraham was, I am. Could he be talking about his body? Or his essence? This is the message of awakening. You are the essence You are a divine essence in a embodied experience called human form. But that does not replace or supplant your true identity. It only covers it, colors it over. Just like the light of a projector It's the picture, the projection 
is a matter of the slide or the film through which the light shines. But the light, if you go to the source, is pure and whole, in which all needs are met. So let us move back from our projections, our beliefs, and go to the source of consciousness itself. And from here, we will find the peace that passes all human understanding. And will enable us to boldly move forward to dispel the illusions of life. One slight shift of perception at a time. We thank you, Spirit, that you have given us the means and the possibility and the method to know ourselves as you created us. May we have the courage to stand and look at the seeming monsters and dangers of the human life, to discover which can, that which cannot be harmed or diminished or stained, no matter what. And may we know this forever and ever through whatever. Amen. Twelve fifteen, we gather in the kids' room, so I hope you'll join us. Bring your thorns. <laughs>